Can I just say this, uh, and perhaps if I can just address this to the Indonesian government, um, it is not a sign of weakness to spare the lives of these men. Yes, they have committed very terrible crimes. And yes, they knew that the death penalty was there uh, if they were caught and, and found guilty. But it is not weak to spare their lives. It is a sign of the strongest love, the greatest mercy when you extend it for, to those who least deserve it. That is a sign of strength. President Jokowi can be so strong, so strong that he does not have to take the lives of two men, but to give them life to continue to rehabilitate, to repent for the rest of their days. I've got to ask you this because the, the questioner asked what action should the Australian government take? I think you met after the execution and that's indeed how Greg Sheridan addressed that question. But what about before? the execution, surely you'd want to take action which stopped it happening? Well, as Tony Abbott uh, said uh, today or yesterday, uh, you, in making your submissions to the Indonesian government, you have to be careful that what you do is not actually counterproductive. Uh, no government likes being pushed around by another government. So the arguments to, you've got to explain, uh, sincerely how the depth of feeling in Australia, and you saw that with the unanimous vote of the House of Representatives uh, calling for uh, the Indonesian government to extend clemency and not execute these men. Uh, it's important that friends speak honestly with each other and that we explain to the Indonesians how deeply we feel about it and how Australians uh, will be hurt uh, by these men being executed. But equally, we threats and so forth could be very, very counterproductive. And that's why, as I said in the House of Representatives, and I say again tonight, I think, you know, Greg has just said that President Jokowi is already looking like a weak president. Well, I, you are a foreign affairs expert and I, wouldn't, I will not comment on that. But I would say this, that an Indonesian president that, that had the strength to say, as SBY said, we are a big enough, a great enough, a good enough country not to have to execute criminals. We don't have to lower ourselves to the business of putting up convicted criminals in front of a firing squad and shooting them. We are bigger than that. We have a bigger love. We have a greater mercy than any of their crimes. And that's why we don't lower ourselves to kill them. That's a sign of strength. And I hope that in the next little while, the President of Indonesia shows this great strength, the strength of mercy.